Welcome to our lecture online. Before we start looking at word 9 and word 10 of subframe 1, we want to become familiar with what we call two's complement because the next components in words 9 and 10 are going to be expressed in two's complement. So what is two's complement? Well, it turns out when a binary number is displayed in two's complement format, the MSB is the sign bit. So when the MSB is equal to 0, the number is a plus. When the MSB is equal to a 1, then the number is a negative number. So as an example, let's say we want to express the number plus 6 in a 4-bit format. So here are the 4 bits, and since the first number is, the first bit is a 0, we know that the number will be plus, and then the other 3 bits will give us the value of the number. So this is 2 to the 0 power, 2 to the 1st power, 2 to the 2nd power, so this can be 4, 2, and 1. Notice the number then will be equal to 1 times 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 1. And so that's the plus sign from here, plus 4 plus 2 plus 0, so we end up with a plus 6. Now what do we do when we want to turn that into a negative 6 when we're dealing with 2's complement? Well, it requires two steps. The first step is we flip all the bits. So instead of having 0, 1, 1, 0, we turn into 1, 0, 0, 1. The second step is we simply add 1 to the LSB. So since we already have a 1 there, when we add a 1, a 0, 1 then becomes a 1, 0. Then realizing that the first bit now represents the negative of 2 to the third power, the second bit is 2 to the second, the third bit is 2 to the first, and the fourth bit is 2 to the 0. So this means that this can be a negative 8, a 4, a 2, and a 1. But then we multiply this bit times this value, so now to get the value for the number, we get 1 times negative 8 plus 1 times 2, that means negative 8 plus 2 gives us indeed a negative 6, which is a negative of the positive 6. So that's what we mean by 2's complement, and of course we can do that for a number of any number of bits. Again, the first number, if it's a 1, it'll be negative 2 to that power, that being of course 0, 1, 2, 3 for the first 4 bits, and then of course it goes up like that if you have additional bits in your 2's complement number. So hopefully that, in a simple manner, explains what 2's complement is, and now we can go look at word 9 and 10 of subframe 1 to see what is contained in that. So that's how that works.